Buy it a job interview. Try to make a good impression. If you don't own a car, lease one. Nowadays it's hard to tell the difference. Try to be about 25 minutes late. No more, no less. This will put the power or the ball in your court. Wear a suit if possible. If you don't own one, wear a friend's suit jacket cover. If it's from a quality suit, he will still be impressed. If you must smoke, ask for an ashtray or to be sat by a window. There's nothing more we can do. You may be offered a drink. If you're not, don't pull out a hip flask and treat yourself. If you were properly prepared, you would have had a couple prior to the interview. You'll be asked a number of questions about your qualifications. You must be confident. If you can't remember all the details from your CV, question his or her qualifications. You'll be asked a lame question like, Where do you see yourself in five years time? There are a number of approaches to this question. Number one, halfway through my 10 year plan. Number two, why don't you mind your own business, you bastard? He'll be reminded of your humorous letter with this one. Both of these are good answers. Judge it for yourself. Finally, make constant references to other jobs in the area that you're considering. Act as if he or she has taken up your valuable time. Perhaps look at your watch occasionally. Even if you don't own a watch, this simple act can be quite effective. At the conclusion of the interview, shake hands, but don't overdo it. Chat to other people in the office. They will assume you've already landed the big job. Remember, confidence, 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 you bastard. Next week, we'll show you how to leave this job with a healthy redundancy package.